Oh, we have one tiger tank and one IS-1. Each of you gets one. Nice, we should upgrade the gun barrel. Gun barrel? Listen, kid, in Warpath, survival is the S. Upgrade extra thick armor. You survive so you can dish out damage. 8.8 centimeter KWK-43 is better barrel size and greater penetration, which you need to deal damage with Warpath's complex terrain. Nonsense! In Warpath, the thicker armor can resist more explosion damage. In Warpath, the most important thing is neither firepower nor armor, but strategy. In Warpath, you can freely move your troops. Mike, you have a lot of armor. You add this mine flail and this machine gun to your tank so you can take out mines while dealing heavy damage. Alex, you have high precision firepower. My premium suspension gives you higher mobility, which specializes in taking out enemy armored units. See, Warpath emphasizes customization and proper division of labor to maximize the characteristics of each unit. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah let's right. go! Gustav Railgun versus Sevastopol. 150 tanks, several hundred planes, and most artillery are still not enough to take down this giant fortress. An epic battle in World War II. Cannon is ringing, making a killing. Warpath, play now. It's a, wait, it's a Stuka? Yeah, I know, I know, it was legendary, but a bomber is only useful if you already have air superiority. Otherwise, the enemy's fighters will just shoot it down. Same is true in this realistic strategy game, Warpath. In Warpath, you need to consider the collaboration of your units, how to make army and air force work together. They even studied the tactics and strategies of air combat to give us the most realistic experience. BF-109, oh my god, it's a BF-109, the best German fighter. I can't believe it, the sky is mine.